Welcome to the Art Lady channel. Today's lesson is on these adorable painted seahorses. And this is part of my Under the Sea unit that will be displayed in our annual school art show. Uh, this is grade three, so eight years old. Students created these. Um, let me show you a few more examples. We used real fun bubble wrap and a printing technique that I'm gonna show you in a minute. Um, let me show you the last one for third grade. You can really see the great contrast on these bubbles here. This bubble wrap printing. I love to do bubble wrap printing. And then this is a sponge, and then this is cardboard printing. So a lot of printing techniques. Uh, and it really makes every painting very successful when we do th simple things like this. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to paint the entire paper using some different values. And I got the colors, you know, for ocean colors, any colors you might see in the ocean. Teals and aquas and purples and blues. So any values that you would like. I'm going to show it you how I do it with my kids. In my class, I just give them a blank sheet of paper and I tell them to fill the square any way they like. They just need to to do long strokes horizontally. And we I set up areas, I thin the paint out a little bit with water, so this is a little bit thinner for our background colors. And we do long horizontal strokes, evened and smooth. Uh, you can blend the colors. Now, because these are the same color families, I tell my students, you don't need to wash your brush. And everything uh, on here, all the colors I put out on the table all have a base of blue. And I call that the mother color. And then other colors are made from blue. So we don't need to wash the brush as we do this. And I have them in rows on the tables and the kids just walk around to the colors. So you wanna fill in your whole paper, just smooth areas of color. And if you wanna go from light to dark or dark to light, you can or you can just fill in big areas. Some kids even like to do a stripes, big thick stripes, do three stripes. You can see how this student did the teals, light greens, purples. Let's see what this one did. This kid did it sideways, this way. I mean, it really doesn't matter. Uh, the, the Such light muted colors, it just blends right into the background. So go ahead, I'm gonna do a little bit more blue here. And smooth it out. And if they do it really thin, this will dry fast. Smooth. You can use acrylic paint, basically any color kind of paint you want. And of course, any color. But for my, this particular lesson with my kids, I did families of blue, blues and blue violets and blue greens and purples, there. So long as it's smooth, no puddles. Then the next thing we're gonna do, while that's drying, I have them put this back at their chairs. And what I give the kids is a pre-cut out shape of uh, a seahorse, or you can do any animal, or you could even have the kids cut out their own animals. Um, and then I have them do a light coat of you can cut it out on colored paper, or what I do is we use scrap paper here, and I have them do a light coat of orange paint first. And then what you're gonna do is we take bubble wrap, and this makes it an absolutely gorgeous technique. So we take bubble wrap, and I'm gonna use a piece of paper here. You want some scrap paper down first. And just go ahead and paint the bubble wrap. And you can use different values on the bubble wrap. Or you can do the same one value. And I just limit it to the same families. So if they want purple, they can do dark purples or light purples or red violets. Um, there. So I have several, and I'm just lightly coating the top of the bubble wrap. And when you paint the bubble wrap, you want it to be the bubble side is what you're painting, not the smooth side. And then you just take the shape that you wanna do texture on, and I have them do the belly of it first. 
And these shapes I actually cut out um, from our school AccuCut machine, with our AccuCut machine. So you lightly press, lift up, and then I have them do the tail. Press lightly, pull up, and then where they've already printed, I don't want the face to be really dark, but where they've already printed from, we just reprint again, and it'll give some lighter value printing. Lift up, and there you have the bubble wrap print on the seahorse. Um, then we're, we go ahead and we take our seahorse picture and we're going to be sponge printing now that this dries while they're printing this. And this is all done in one class period. I have them go to the table that has the loofah sponges and just regular kitchen sponges that I've cut into circular shapes. And at the bottom, we're going to be printing, going in a, an edge here. And you want to make this not in a perfectly straight line. So this is a perfect, almost a perfect straight line. You want it to go up a little bit, dabbing it, and down, and then maybe some real short, shallow areas here. Lift up, pull up, print, press. Lift up, press, pull up. It's just so that it's a random line here at the bottom. So it makes it more natural is the coral. So this is gonna be the bottom of the C, and of course you can do any color you want. And then the next thing I do is I want the kids to make these large, beautiful uh, corals because the seahorse love to hang out in the corals and um, the sea plants. They use it as protection. So we're going to be placing diag. Now this is so large on our paper. I'm going to do it at a slight diagonal. So I want the the sea coral maybe to fan out behind the sea seahorse here. So I'm going to start near the center and we're going to fan out this way. And I'm going to choose a black color for that because um, if I did too much of this dark purple, I think it's going to hide. So I want it to show up. So what I do is I take pieces of cardboard and you can see this one's already been used. Use this, the, the line that has not been used yet because uh, the more you use it, the soggier this gets and it just gets to be some uh, shabby line. So I want nice, clean, crisp lines. I'm going to dip into this puddle here and then kind of tap off any extras on the side. And then I'm going to start my fan coral, press, lift up. You can see it picks up some of the texture of the, right there. It picks up some of the texture of the cardboard, which just gives it a more interesting look to this fan coral. Now I'm going to branch out do another branch this way, try to connect them. And I, I want to go to the top of my page. So I'm branching out, pressing. And notice I don't have to dip in frequently. Just every once in a while, oops, that was a little bit too. And branch out this way. And I'm gonna do another branch this way, just so that it goes all the way to the, the tops of the page and the sides. Now I'm gonna work on side branches. And a side branch is a branch that comes off of another one, like that. Just pressing, come up, and the, these grow up. So the direction is up diagonal. Diagonal lines up, and I keep on adding them until I fill in my areas all the areas and this is going to be an incredibly gorgeous fan coral and the seahorses love to live in this area in this coral branch out and you continue i'll go real fast here and then we're going to glue on our seahorse now you can hand paint now this is what my kids do in one day we glue on the seahorse and then we're done for the day. The next art class, if you want, you can even add little fish, little sea anemones, sea urchins coming up in, down in here, some fun sea anemones here. You know, whatever other sea life you want, you can add to your painting. And you can even do it with paint. You can do it with colored pencils. Um, oil pastels work well. I'm gonna give my kids really, really, really tiny skinny brushes and we're just gonna do tiny little maybe schools of fish. 
um, in here. And then some really tiny little sea anemones coming up in here. Uh, but this is gonna get glued down right here in the beautiful fan coral. And that's basically how you can do, how we did our seahorse paintings. Isn't that beautiful? Let me show you, let's get a big view here. Right there. And there's the completed one. Be sure to like and subscribe if you like the videos. That way I will make more. Um, and leave a comment and let me know how you did or if you have any other fun ways of printing with bubble wraps or gadgets. I call all this stuff that we print with gadget printing. Oh, I did forget, let me, let me explain to you. I did forget to show you how we finished these off. What I did was, I'm gonna do it now, um, what we did, how we painted the actual seahorses. Now, once they printed their um, their coral, then I had a station set up with an example. And what we did was we took our little seahorse. Let me get my seahorse back over here. We took our seahorse and I, we did a little tiny nose. We used, this is that number two Princeton brush. We did a circle around the eyeballs. I did a row of dots here, and then I did some skinny black lines like this. And again, this is the AccuCut uh, shape that I printed out in jumbo size. I pressed out from the AccuCut machine in our media center. But you can cut out and trace, download some patterns and cut out and trace your own seahorse or just draw your own seahorse if you'd like. Um, but because time, we wanted to get this done in one day, I just gave them the seahorse and then they added their bubbles to it. And it looks absolutely gorgeous. Let me show you this one over here with the two tones, blue and blue greens. That really makes uh, a beautiful um, texture as well. And actually the pink one. Uh, looks lovely too. I, I really love them all. Uh, but so it depends on the look that you're doing. And I hope you have fun creating your seahorse uh, coral. Seahorse hiding in the coral.